Not again. Why is it this one? <laughs> okay, I guess this is working. <laughs> um, boy, technology sometimes is beyond my pay grade. Um, good morning. Welcome to this one half hour guided meditation. I would like to um, dedicate this um, meditation to the life of Swami Kriyananda. Today is um, his birthday. And um, if you're not familiar, Swami Kriyananda is Ananda's founder. He is a direct disciple of Paramahansa Yogananda. And he lived with Yogananda the last three and a half years of Yogananda's life. Um, Swami Kriyananda wrote over 150 books, uh, composed over 400 pieces of music, um, brought into fruition Yogananda's ideal of world brotherhood colonies. And that alone is pretty amazing, but a really beautiful gift from him um, is that he gave us a living example of what it meant to live for God alone, his attunement with his guru, and that he was a divine friend to all. And so with gratitude, I offer this half hour to his life. And of course, I invite you to do the same or to offer your practice today to somebody who inspires you or makes you want to live a better life. So with that, I thought I would read um, just one paragraph from Swami Kriyananda's book, The New Path, My Life with Paramahansa Yogananda. And it's one of the latter chapters in the book from chapter 38 his last days, and that is Yogananda's last days. He begins with part of a poem from Yogananda called God's Boatman. Oh, I will come again and again, crossing a million crags of suffering. With bleeding feet, I will come, if need be, a trillion times, so long as I know one stray brother is left behind. And then Swami Kriyananda writes, raindrops fall to earth, play their countless separate roles, then rise again to fall in endlessly repeated cycles. Similar is the tale of each soul. Through unnumbered cycles of return, we refine our understanding until we've convinced ourselves to our very depths that the fulfillment we are seeking is already is ours already in the bliss of our own being. Let's begin our meditation by relaxing the body and releasing tension. And we'll do that with three rounds of the double breath. It's a short then long inhalation through the nostrils. <laughs> Hold the breath as you tense the entire body like a wave, low, medium, high, feeling it peak at the top. And then throwing the breath out through the mouth, short and long, as you release all tension. Pause in the stillness. Again, tensing the body like a wave, low, medium, high, feeling the body vibrate with energy. And then releasing, pause and feel. One more time, finding those places you might not be tensing and tensing them and letting everything go now with a triple exhalation. We'll do a posture check here, beginning from the feet and working our way up. So feeling the feet flat on the floor, bringing a sense of stability to body and mind. 
And then inviting a wave of relaxation up through the body, allowing the calves to soften, the thighs to soften. Abdomen is completely relaxed. No need to hold the belly in here. Palms are gently facing upwards anywhere on your thighs. Forearms and upper arms relax. And then allow the heart to soften, to relax. Perhaps you feel a slight upliftment or opening in the area of the heart. On your next inhaling breath, draw the shoulders up toward the ears and then exhaling, relax them down and slightly back away from the ears. The heart can soften a little more here. And to bring the head and neck into proper alignment on your next inhaling breath, gently glide the chin up a couple of inches and exhaling. Feel the back of the neck lengthen as you return chin parallel to the floor. Now allow all the muscles of the face to soften. Tell them they don't have a job right now. Continuing that wave of relaxation up through the crown of the head. Gaze is gently lifted without any strain. If you feel any strain, lower your gaze a bit. It's as if you're looking out at the horizon where the sea and sky meet. Bringing in a sense of joyful expectancy for the practice you do today. You can imagine the sun rising above the horizon the promise of a new day filling you with a sense of hope. Imagine that light rising within you to the point between the eyebrows, the inner sun, the inner light. Imagine that sun shining down upon you, filling every cell in your body and all the spaces between your cells with a sense of vitality, a sense of newness and freshness. And to help the body relax more so it can be still for meditation, we'll do 20 part uh, body recharging. And so we'll tense different body parts like a wave, low, medium, high, and then release the tension like a wave going back to its source in the ocean. With gaze uplifted, bring awareness first to the left foot and slowly begin to tense the left foot like a wave coming to a peak, low, medium, high, feeling the tension peak at the top. And then like a wave dissolving back into the ocean, let that tension go high, medium, low. No tension there now. Right foot, same thing. Begin to tense the right foot, low, medium, high. It peaks at the top. And then high, medium, low. That tension dissipates. Awareness to the left calf now. Dialing up the tension till it peaks at the top. And then slowly letting that tension release into the vast space that surrounds you. Right calf, tensing low, medium, high. And then letting that go, high, medium, low. Left thigh, slowly dialing up the tension. It's a very large muscle group. It's easy to feel the tension here. And like the wave dissolving back to its source, high, medium, low, no tension. Right thigh, dialing it up, feeling it vibrate at the top. And slowly releasing till there's no tension. Pause and feel. 
Bring awareness now to the lower abdomen, the area below the navel, and slowly begin to draw that area in, feeling the tension there, and then slowly releasing the lower abdomen, completely relaxing it. The stomach, the area above the navel, Gently drawing it in, feeling the tension there. Being gentle, of course, if you've eaten recently. Noticing what it feels like to have tension in the stomach. And then releasing it high, medium, low. Pause and feel the difference. Left hand and left forearm, you can make a gentle fist with your left hand as you dial up the tension here. Feeling it vibrate. And then letting that peak dissolve back as if it were into the ocean, no tension. Right hand and right forearm. Pausing in the stillness. Left upper arm, you can draw the Left shoulder slightly back to access the left upper arm. Really feeling the tension peak at the top. And then slowly releasing that tension till there is none. Right upper arm. Again, you can draw the right shoulder back a bit to access this area. Just noticing the tension here. And then observing as you release it till there is none. Left side of chest, you can draw the left shoulder back and slightly down as you tense the left side of the chest, low, medium, high. And then high, medium, low. All tension dissipates. Right side of chest, you can draw the right shoulder back and slightly down. Feeling the tension peak at the top and slowly letting it go till there's stillness. Front of the throat, you can gently glide the chin up a couple of inches as you begin to tense the muscles where you swallow. Feeling the tension peak at the top. And then slowly releasing that tension as you return chin parallel to the floor. And then glide the chin down an inch or so as you begin to tense the back of the neck like a wave reaching its peak at the top. And allowing that wave to dissolve back into infinity, returning chin parallel to the floor. Pause with gaze uplifted. In stillness, I touch my inner strength. And then moving past our physical form into working with the breath. So bring awareness to your breath. And perhaps not just the mechanics of the breath, of course, noticing the movement of the breath, noticing its rhythm, but perhaps also greeting the breath as a constant life companion. Just noticing what it does. And if you feel inspired to perhaps offering it gratitude. And let's refine this practice a little bit more by not controlling the breath in any way, but simply stepping back to becoming the watchful observer. And you can notice the movement of the breath in the belly. 
And if your nostrils aren't blocked, you can move up to observing the breath as it flows up and down the nostrils. Simply observing. Perhaps you notice the breath's a little cooler as it comes up the nostrils. A little bit warmer as it goes down. And if the mind resists and tries to control the breath, that's okay. Be gentle with it. And simply relax more deeply into observing mode. Now let's invite in the heart's natural love and devotion by adding a saying. If you know Hong Sa, of course, please add that mantra here. Otherwise, every time you observe the breath coming in, feel as though the breath were saying to you, I am. And every time you notice the breath leaving, imagine it saying to you, peace. I am with the inhalation, peace with the exhalation. Welcome the heart softening here. Welcome the body relaxing into this. And we'll practice this for the next eight minutes or so. I am peace. You may have noticed already that the breath has begun to recede or slow down. That's the natural result of the technique. Welcome it. I am peace. Welcome any sense of stillness, of calmness this practice brings. As you gently affirm, I am peace.
the mind has wandered, that's okay. Simply relift the gaze and go back to the practice. I am peace. Let's end this technique with a gentle double breath, no tension. And then bringing to mind the person who you were dedicating your practice to and the inspiration they bring. And perhaps Remembering that the qualities they possess that inspires us exist within us already. Let's be still for a few moments. I'd like to close our meditation today with a reading from Once More the New Path by Swami Kriyananda. I'd like to read his beautiful poem called June in Ayodhya. And this poem is just a reminder for what's possible and for what's happening in the Ananda communities worldwide. June in Ayodhya. Listen, fair June is humming in the air, and Ram's Ayodhya sings of lasting peace. The growing grass nods heavy to the wind, patient till cutting time. The hay is stored, the fields spring up with adolescent plants, laughing flowers, berries, and graceful corn. In the orchards, every hand is quickly busy to catch the ripest fruits before they fall. Men's hearts are strong with that perfected strength that smiles at fences, lays aside old hates, nurtures true love, and finds such earnest pleasure in seeking truth that every private mind seems drawn to virtue like a public saint. The woman's words are soft with kindliness. The children answer with humility. Even the men are like so many fawns, modest and still, sweet with complete respect. 
Jyotirlinga Yodia is so roused with joy, the earth can scarcely keep its boundaries. Swelling with energy and waking strength, till not a mountain, not a valley sleeps, straining to burst and flood the world with laughter. Such harmony flows everywhere when men with grateful hearts offer their works to God. Then brotherhood needs no enforcing laws, no parliaments, no treaties sealed in fear. True peace is theirs to whom the Lord is near. Let's offer all the blessings we've received in our practice with one another day. To those in need, and most especially offering healing prayers to all in India affected by COVID, to the caregivers, to families and friends, and to the souls of those who have lost their lives. Seeing all of India, all the world surrounded with Divine Mother's healing light, and rubbing the hands together first slowly and then more quickly to warm them and increase their magnetism. Let's share these blessings out on the waves of three ohms. Thank you for joining today. Happy birthday to Swami Kriyananda. And just to invite you, there's countless videos by Swami Kriyananda on YouTube at um, the Ananda uh, Worldwide website, the Ananda Washington website, and just maybe treat yourself to watching one or two. Go with joy. <laughs>